In 1998, Silver Cross Hospital began recognizing the accomplishments of outstanding individuals for their service to the community with the Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence. Named after former U.S. Congressman George E. Sangmeister, the medal is awarded to a leading citizen for competence, service, and dedication in a field other than health care that contributes to the common good of society. The 2010 Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence recipient is Robert A. Rogina. Bob was born in Joliet and was the second oldest of four children, a brother George and two sisters, Rita and Nancy. As a boy, Bob's mom instilled values in him and his siblings to be the best person they can be throughout their entire life. Bob attended grade school at St. Joseph's School in Joliet. He also attended Joliet Catholic High School. Bob went on to attend Joliet Junior College for two years and completed his Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering at the University of Illinois in 1964. Following graduation, Bob served the next six years in the National Guard of the Joliet 2nd Battalion as a 129 Infantry Staff Sergeant. He met his wife, Joan, on a blind date, and they were married for 38 years. During their life together, they had five sons, Michael, Don, Dan, Christopher, and Kevin. He's got five sons. He's got three daughter-in-laws and eight grandchildren that love him dearly. The couple was always very generous with their time and talents in the community. Joan created displays for the annual Festival of Trees fundraiser during the Christmas season to support the Cornerstone Services and the Rialto Theater. In 1964, Bob began his engineering career working for the Illinois State Highway Department on the I-80 construction project. This led to work with B-Link Consultants for Joliet Water and Sewer Systems. In 1988, Bob started his own firm called Rogina and Associates, where he still manages a professional staff involved with the civil and environmental engineering systems. The one part of the job he loves is solving problems. I think that's why he loves what he does, is you know, work the problem, find the solutions, find, find the solution that nobody else is thinking of, and provide that, provide that value to, to the end user. Throughout Bob's life, he's been known as a dedicated community activist. He began volunteering more in the community in the late 1970s. In the 1980s, he served as chairman of the Will County Center for Economic Development, where the goal was to create jobs in Joliet. Bob was called in very early to, to join with other business leaders, and he stepped right up. And, you know, he's been, I believe he's been on the board virtually the entire 29 years the organization has been in existence. So. Uh, he clearly has made a, a full commitment to making sure the, the local economy is very vibrant. Uh, but as the community has grown, Bob has grown with it, and I think he's been a big supporter of uh, countywide development. Over the years, Bob has served on several committees for the Will County United Way and was chairperson for two years. He has also served countless hours on the Cornerstone Services Board, including his current role as chairman. Additional community service of Bob's includes Will County Community Foundation and University of St. Francis Board. Further, he serves as chairperson of the Silver Cross Foundation Board of Directors and co-chairman of the Silver Cross Replacement Hospital Capital Campaign. Not only is Bob a champion for quality health care, but he also lent his hand to improving education in the Joliet schools. Through his work with the CED, Bob assisted the Joliet Township High Schools pass a $7 million referendum to add much-needed buildings to the high schools. Years later, Bob's work with the CED led to the passing of a similar referendum, raising $3 million in funding for Joliet grade school enhancements. Then through his work with the Will County Exposition Auditorium Authority, the CED group was asked to put together a plan on how to improve the financial status of the Rialto Theater. He makes sure in a very quiet way in some regards that uh, he makes a a very positive impact on the community around him and and clearly that's what he's done for Joliet and uh, I have a lot of respect for Bob. I think a lot of people have a lot of respect for Bob for what he is, what he's done and quite frankly what he's doing today. 
When asked why he has volunteered his time on so many organizations, Bob humbly replies, because someone asked me if I could help by sharing my business sense, and I believe it's your public duty to help out. An important thing about Bob Regina is, is the commitment he makes to whatever he believes in. And he truly believes in Silver Cross Hospital. He has been involved with the foundation for over a decade, and I'm sure uh, that he's made that commitment at 100 plus percent, like he does with anything that he's, he's serious about. And he is serious about Silver Cross Hospital and the level of health care that it provides for the greater community that we all live in. Because of Bob Rogina's relentless commitment to his family and the residents of Will County, we proudly award him the 2010 Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence. Thank you.